Hey guys, welcome to Hit Yoga Round 8. That just means eight different yoga-inspired exercises. We're gonna do a quick warm-up and then just get right into the round. Come into the middle of the mat, take some deep breaths. Inhale up. Exhale, halfway fold. Chair pose. Forward fold. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, fold. Inhale, all the way. Grab the left wrist and give it a gentle stretch over. Pull the ribs and belly in. Take the gaze up. Engage the quads, the glutes. Good. Switch. Inhale up and over. Try and stay nice and stacked through the shoulders. Reach the arms behind the back. If you can interlace the hands, go ahead and just squeeze the shoulder blades back. Puff up through the front of the heart. Finding some chest expansion, shoulder stretching. Inhale up, exhale back down. Place the palms down and walk yourself into a plank and start to tuck the knees into the chest. Spread the fingers wide, press the shoulders down, waking up the core, upper body, strength. Index finger points forward, elbow crease wraps forward, and then let's come down to the knees. Inhale, head, chest, and tailbone rise. Exhale, round the spine. Any wiggling and swaying, any movement to get the spine nice and fluid. No sticky spots. Downward facing dog. Same thing with the tucks. We'll try to march the knee into the nose. Actively pressing into all 10 fingers and the palm. Good, two more. Walk the hands in, ragdoll up, rounding up the vertebrae. We're just gonna take these little knee to elbow cross taps. I'm gonna take a low impact warm up. Feel free to add some jumping if you'd like. Same thing if your hamstrings are feeling open, let's just expand this to a toy soldier toe tap. Straight arms, straight legs now. Exhale, plug the belly towards the spine, gentle little twist. Four more, three, two, squats in place, hands touch the floor, lift, down and squeeze, hamstrings and glutes, squeeze forward. If you'd like, you could come up on releve, balance, heels, toes, heels, toes. You have the option to jump as well if you'd like to. Today I'm gonna to mostly show low impact options just for those of you that don't wanna jump. If you do, go ahead and take it there. Few more here, in and out of the chair. Hips back, on the toes for a moment, on the toes, last one. Good, side curtsy or you can skate across the mat. Flat back, tap down. Engage the core. Keep the arms actively pulling apart and down. Stay strong, we're just warming up. I'll preview the exercises and you can continue to stretch or jog in place. Four more, three, two, let's take a plank walk. Pick a side of your mat. Walk it out, spinal balance, right arm, left arm, right leg, left leg. Crawl it in, stand, or little hop. If you'd like, you could try them at the same time. Opposite arm and leg, opposite arm and leg, or each limb. Two more. Shoulders down, opposite or one at a time. One more. Let's stay down in plank. Mountain climbers, fast or slow. Shoulders over fingertips. Plug the belly in, keep the hips low, but not sagging. Eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, 
Down dog, recover. Deep breaths here. Shake the head out. Lift the tailbone. Pull the quads up. Relax the head. Walk it in. Fingertips down, bend the knees if you need to. These little abduction, abduction legs, outer thigh. Push right up to the side. You can hover if you're struggling to reach the mat or bend the knees. Just a few more, picking up that outer thigh, obliques, long neck and spine, relax the neck. Just gaze down. Woo, two more, out, down, out, down. Roll it up. While you are jogging in place or continuing to stretch, I'm gonna preview the four drills today. So we're gonna go downward facing dog, and then we're gonna pick up one arm and leg and just flip your body over. Flip dog, press it up, take this side plank step through, and then jump. Step back down dog. Other arm and leg, flip, stretch it up, come through this slow side plank, take your time to get there, and then jump. That's exercise one the whole time. Exercise two, we're gonna Come into warrior two, front heel, back heel, front heel, back heel, cartwheel, two little half moon abduction leg lifts, pull it into chair, and then jump in your chair. Step back, all right? Exercise three, spinal balance. We'll do it on the knee, hold, tuck, hold, the hand comes down, the leg goes up, and then you tuck, and we try to jump. All right, tuck. See if you can catch an L handstand or just a hop up, hop down. And exercise four here, another little wild thing option. We're gonna come into bridge, bridge, roll and see if you can come through a pistol squat. Just try to lift your butt up, even if you need to push your hands down. And then we're gonna swing into wild thing. Come back down, switch. All right, bridges, pistols, wild thing. Stretch. Let's go. You'll hear a 10 second countdown, and then we're gonna work for 50 seconds with 10 seconds to transition into the next exercise. Remember the first one, we start in a downward facing dog. Flip your dog, just land, lift, it's more of a little side plank, step through, and then jump, come back, down dog. Just remember which way so you can go the other way. Take your time to hit the poses. Down dog, flip, side plank takes you to lunge, jump on one foot, step back. Flip dog, lift up, hips up, push the shoulder down, engage the core, step, jump. You can really work as slow as you want there. Flip, lift, step around, back down. All right, that was exercise one. Exercise two, we're gonna start in warrior two, hips are open, arms reach strong. Here we go. Front heel, back heel, front heel lifts, back heel, then half moon for two. Good, and then we're just gonna sit chair for two. Warrior two, high heel, high heel, high heel, high heel, go. Leg lifts, half moon, half moon, chair two. Spring, spring, cartwheel back, warrior two, up, up. Lift, lift, go. Cartwheel to half moon, two leg raises, two squatting jumps, or take the jump out if you're working low impact. Up, 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 up and go. And exercise three, spinal balance, come down to the knees. Shoulders down, wrap the triceps, plug the belly in. Go. Pick a side, tuck, tuck, hand down, leg goes up, 
tuck and jump. Tuck and big jump up if you can get those hips up. Awesome. If not, no big deal. Other leg, other arm. Tuck, tuck, hand down, leg stays up, lift it, and then tuck and try to jump. Plank tuck, you might hop in and then up. Other leg, right leg, left arm. Tuck, tuck, left hand down, right leg up. Tuck, jump. Push the shoulders down, plug the belly in, and switch. Last exercise, come onto the back. We have our bridges. One leg up, go. Bridge, bridge. See if you can rock off the hips. Pistol, maybe you rock and roll, pistol. And then the opposite arm steps back, stretch. Other leg lifts. Up, down, up, down. Try to go to a pistol, maybe you lift the hips. You could roll that twice. Good, opposite arm that the knee is tucked, steps back, stretch. Come back, switch legs. Up, up, rock to pistol. Even if your butt doesn't lift, just try. Opposite arm, stretch, switch. Two bridges, <sighs> two pistols. You could just finish this up if you want to stay even. And then stretch. All right, that was round one. We're going to repeat that one more time unless you're going on to do three or four more times. I'll do this once more with you. Walk around the room, take a drink of water, one minute recovery and rest, and then we'll repeat the exercises. Okay, so this next round, push yourself a little bit harder. That might mean moving faster. That might mean for move, moving slower for some of them, like moving through that side plank through the step through, really engaging the muscles. Okay, here we go. Take a couple deep breaths. 10 second countdown. Jump to down dog, flip dog, step forward, lunge, jump. Go. Down dog, flip back, step, jump. Down dog, flip, same leg and arm lift so you can flip over and then come through a side plank to step, foot lands, legs jump, lunge, down dog. Keep changing directions. Down dog, flip, lift, squeeze, stand, jump, Whew. fun one. Flip, step, it might be fast, or try and really control it. All right, next exercise, warrior two. Here we go, warrior two. Front leg, back heel, front heel, back heel, dive. Two little half moon leg lifts, and then feet down, jump, jump. Good, stretch it back, warrior two. Front, back, front, back, and then cartwheel. Half moon, half moon, step it through, jump, jump. Chair jumps, swing it back. Set your warrior two up, heel, heel raise, heel raise, heel raise, go. Bend, lift, lift, bend, land, jump, jump, go. Warrior two, heel raise, front back, front back, charge. Leg lift, leg lift, jump, jump, that was your time. Whew. All right, come down to spinal balance. Breathe, push the shoulders down, plug the belly in, go. Tuck, tuck. Hand down, leg lifts, tuck the toes under, and then tuck and jump. Two and two. Come back down to the knees, left leg, right arm. Tuck, knee to nose, right hand down, left toe, right toes tuck, left leg up, tuck, jump. 
Doesn't have to look like mine. Right leg, left arm. Left hand down, tuck the left toes, right leg up. Top jump. All right, on your back. Whew, bridge. Single leg. Set it up. Go. Up, down, up, down. Rock. See if you can get the butt to lift in your pistol. Rock. Good. Opposite arms. Stretches back, hips up, heart up. Switch. Up, up, pistol, balance. If you're feeling super strong, you could try to lift all the way up. Wild thing. So maybe your pistol, you go all the way to standing. Bridge, bridge, rock, hold, rock, maybe lift. And then opposite hand swings back. Wild thing stretch. Switch. All right. That was your time. All right. As you're recovering, I'm going to preview the next and final four drills. Walk around. Okay, so we're going into goddess, releve, two times. Heel raises two times. Side bend for five. And then you're gonna put the hand down. This is gonna be a little tricky, you might have to practice. The, the leg that the hand is down is gonna slide back and you can try to grab it and find a little, uh, little baby grasshopper or just thread it back and come through. So we have heel raises, side bends. You land one hand, you thread the leg behind for this little side pistol or you could try to grab the leg and make it a baby grasshopper, okay? Exercise two, another little side one. I'll show you this way. We're gonna prep a flying crow. Prep, prep, land on the heel. We did this in the warm up. Outer thigh, abduction, leg raises, and then three side to side lunges. Step together and reset. All right, again, these might take a little bit of practice, but I know you can do it. Next one, we're gonna do these little kind of mini pigeon switches called 90-90, lift the spine. We'll rotate three, two, one, hands down. Sweet. Step the leg back for pigeon push-ups. You can tap the knee, or you can keep the leg down and modify. Switch, switch, switch. Pigeon push-ups. And then the last one, we're gonna take a reverse crab or reverse tabletop. Flip the fingers backwards on this because we're gonna end up crawling over. So it'll be one hand back, add the toe tap, then the other leg flips you and you come back. All right? Crab, add the opposite toe tap, then the other leg steps over and back. That's why we have the fingers turned backwards so you can turn your body safely. Okay, let's get started. Remember, since these are a little bit more complicated, don't worry about speed, especially the first couple times through when you're learning the drill and exercise. Go at your own pace, master the exercise, and then maybe push a little bit quicker. Okay, it's not a race, it's not a competition. They're time drills, so you can work at your own level. 10 second countdown. We start with the goddess. Get into your plie. Heels up and down. Go. Releve, lower, releve, lower. Then side. Three, two, one. Hand down. Thread the foot back. Maybe reach for it and come back. All right? Up, down, up, down. Side bend until you go to the other side. Land. Put the hand down, thread the foot back. You can grab the leg or just kick it out there. Come back. Goddess, up, down, up, down, side to side. Just go a few and then put the hand down. Thread, maybe grab the leg for grasshopper. Come back, up, down, up, down, side, crunch, 
Now we put the left hand down if you're doing it with me. All right, that was exercise one. Exercise two is the flying crow prep. I'll do it this way so you can see better. Right knee into right armpit, fingers spread wide, lift the back leg twice, set the heel down, abduct it twice, and then step for side to side, skandasana lunges. Step the hands down and the feet in. Left leg into the knee, right leg raises, put some weight down, push the shoulders down, leg. Now heel drops, knees can bend, abduct, abduct, side, lunges. Does this make sense? Step together. Right knee into armpit, like you're gonna set up a flying crow, but you don't lift that bottom leg, you raise the top leg. Step on the heel, side to side, and then side lunge. Hands down, step together. Left knee in, right leg up. Whew. To the side, you did it. All right, we get to come down for your 90-90 pigeon shapes. Hip mobility work. Breathe, go. Three, two, one. Tuck the back toe under, pigeon push-ups. Three, two, and one. Land, bring it in. Three, two, one. The back leg is gonna try to swing back. Pigeon push-ups. Three, two, knee taps, or the foot can land if that feels too hard. Three, two, use the core. Press it back. Three, two, elbows bend back, heart charges forward. Woo! Straight spine, turn, turn. Turn, bring it back. Up, up, up. All right, exercise four, crab on your back. Fingers back, get ready to lift. Hips up, good. Hips up, chest up, opposite toe tap, then the other leg steps over and back. Switch hands, fingers play back, lift, Opposite toe tap, Off, other leg steps forward, steps back, switch. Hup. Opposite toe tap, then the outside, the same leg as the hand, is gonna just kind of step, come back. It's really fun. Lift, balance, step over, come back. Press the shoulder down. So we have an opposite toe tap, and then the leg of the arm that's raised climbs over, climbs back. All right, Woo. on your feet, walk around, one minute break. Hang in there, you're doing awesome. Again, these are a little more complex, so take the time to learn it and don't race through the exercise. You can do this, the first round can be your practice round, and then go back for two more, two more if you have the time. But even this, I'm sweating, my heart rate's elevated, two times is a great workout. Okay, let's finish this up. Last time through, we're a little more familiar with the exercises. 10 second countdown, we start with the goddess. Plie, or releve, releve. Up, down, up, down, side, crunch. I'm doing about five. When one hand goes down, that same leg threads back. Or you can grab the leg. Up, down, up, down. Almost like you're jumping onto the toes. Now the other hand's gonna land, the foot's gonna thread back. You might grab it on the way or just don't. <laughs> All right, so up, up, side, crunch. Now my right hand's gonna go down and then I'm gonna thread the right foot back. Baby grasshopper or just a little side pistol. Up, up, crunch, crunch, crunch. Now my left hand, my right, my left leg threads. Oh, if you sit, no big deal, push right back. Ha, heels, raise, side, body, abs. All right, oh, that was time. So side to side crow prep. I'll face this way this time. Right knee into armpit, tippy toes, left leg raises. Raise it, step on the heel, side, side, and then step into three, shifting 
lunges. Hands down, step it in. Left knee into the armpit. Right leg raises. Step on the heel. Right leg abducts right to the side. Fire hydrant. Step wide for three. Shifting lunges. Fingertips or hands down. Step back in. Right knee in. Right knee in. Left leg. See, even I get confused sometimes. So I'm going to want the width of my mat. Side to side. Hands back. Step together. Left knee in. Right leg raises. Raises to the side. And there's your time. Come down for the pigeon. 90-90. Kind of a mini pigeon shape. <sighs> Breathe. Go. Three, two, see if you can swing into pigeon as the hands drop down. We lift. Three, tap the knee. Two, tap the knee. One, pigeon push-ups. Come back down. <sighs> Three, two, now you're on the other side. As the hands go down, the leg tucks under. Three, bend, tuck, bend, tuck, bend, land. Three, shifting, hip mobility, squeeze. If you struggle, just make this a little wider. Make it work for your body. Three, two, bend and straighten the elbows, and then land. Oh, my arms. Okay, three, two, and last one. Stay down here for crab. Remember, turn the fingers backwards so we can step over. Go. Arm raise, opposite toe tap, then the other leg steps over. Little bear crawl. Hips, opposite toe, other leg around and back. Use the strength of your shoulder to control, Woo, and if you fall, just land on your bottom, switch, step forward, come back, switch. Strong core, don't be too heavy in that hand. We're using our legs, step, you can even lift the hand, come back. Reverse table, opposite toe tap. <laughs> then the other leg, same arm and leg, swing under, come back. Switch. You can finish this out and come around down dog. Woo. Shake the head heavy. Pedal out through those feet. Nice work. Round through plank. Come down to the belly. Bring the elbows out. Shine the heart forward. Sphinx. Couple breaths here. Bring the elbows out, chest down. Now hands to chest, press into extended child's pose to cat. Extended child's pose, forehead to mat, cat back round, push the earth away. One more time. Good, take it back through downward facing dog. Right leg is gonna extend. And we're gonna step in between the hands. Tuck and make it happen even if you need to lift the right hand. Good, lunge. Hold it here. Back knee pulses for four, three, two. Light landing. Shift your weight back. Half split. See if you can do this as a balance, maybe even bind. If you're struggling, just put the hands down. Otherwise, we'll shift right back into Anjaneyasana. Low lunge. Bring the hands down, step the knee off, tuck the toes under. Your option to do a vinyasa or just step back through down dog. Left leg up. Step through the hands. Lower the back knee as you lift the heart up. And then pulse, four, three, tap the back knee, two, Land, untuck the toes. See if you can shift back through half split. Maybe that's here for you. Shift back on it. Bring the hands to the mat. Untuck or tuck the toes. Power up the back knee. Take it through plank, maybe a vinyasa. Exhale. 
Child's pose, go ahead and sit and sweep those legs around. Give yourself a little space behind you. Shake out those legs. Fingertips forward this time. We're just gonna end with a little bit of core work. Eight, seven, six, soft elbows. Five, shine the heart forward. Four, three, two, one. Now sacrum lands. Little leg lifts. Tiny little movement as you plug the low back into the mat. Four, three, two, one. Head down. Now the legs are gonna lower. Eight. You can support the back by tucking the, thing, the thumbs under your low spine or just really use the core to press it down. Shh. Exhale. Here's four, three, two. Hover on one. Round the shoulders off the mat. Hold for four, three, you made it, two, one. Palms stack over the head, feet flop out to the sides. Let the belly go, rise and fall. Shake out those feet, relaxing through the hip flexors. That just worked hard for you for those abs. And then walk the feet in, give yourself a squeeze. You know, rock over to one side. Press yourself up. You can come into cross leg easy seat or come onto the knees. And I just want to say thank you for joining me. Please leave me a comment. I love hearing from you. Let me know how it went for you. If you felt like it was too complicated or you were able to understand the exercises, um, give this a thumbs up if you completed it. And I always take requests. If there's anything else you want to see from me, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I'm trying to grow here so I can continue to do this work for you. Thanks so much. I'll see you soon. Bye.